This is my MyCloud EX2 Ultra Drive. I actually have the MyCloud EX2, and it's fine. Had it for a while. But I cheaped out and got one with no drives in it. So I bought some extra drives to put in it. Because I saved $60 by getting two four terabyte drives separately and putting it in myself instead of buying the eight terabyte version of this, this drive, this NAS storage. So if we can get the box open, try not to stab myself. Let's see. So hopefully they don't require more tools than this uh, Phillips head screwdriver. We're gonna put these drives into this NAS device. Just got some flare. Feels heavy in there. Oh, power supply maybe? Uh-oh. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, a little, ah, I give a network cable, that's cool. Just think it's light. Hmm. Could be good or bad, I guess. Is this one? Oh, butchered the plastic bag, hopefully we'll need that. Okay. This looks like a button of sorts. Oh yeah, you click that down, just opens up. Sweet. See, it looks looks relatively straightforward. Lefty Lucy, maybe. Yep. Hmm. Now it's over here. One drive, one drive, two. Looking like my uh, three and a half. So always check that. Make sure you're buying the right drives for the right thing. But these did show up on the suggestion page so that was that was a plus got the stuff from bh photo so i'd be very annoyed if the suggested page was the wrong thing but i looked at the specs on this three and a half inch drives three and a half inch drives you're good all right all right it looks like these just slide in here let's try one there's no there's no caddy or anything for me to pop out i i don't think here all right let's give it a try And the red drives, that is the NAS. These are, uh, you know, NAS optimized drives. And they're recommended, as you see here on the, the box. WD Red recommends. All right. Careful not to touch the SATA connector. Pulled it out. There it is. Make sure it lines up. You'll see it's over here. We're over here on the right. It's over there on the right. This might have to get pulled out, but maybe it fits exact. We'll see. Oh wow, look at that. Cool. Boom, that thing just went in like butter, man. That's cool. All right, or well, man. Let's see. Hmm, so once this bracket goes back, that'll hold it. Alright. Okay. Alright, I don't even need this screwdriver. Very interesting. Okay. I think that's pretty easy. So it seems. Alright. This one is actually upside down. You see? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's like a sandwich. Okay, so the, note that. See this? And it's actually on the left side this time. So we gotta create this on the left. And to get this on the left side, it depends. Like, yeah, if you're looking at it like this, that's the left side. So, you gotta turn it around like this. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Huh? And then turn. You see how I did that? All right. Make sure. Yeah. 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 Cool. Man, that's easy. 
So it seems. Okay, let's, we gotta at least put this bracket in. Uh, maybe we can add that later, but I think this is this will this will do. Unless this was just the initial tension. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. So I think this is for the other side. Righty tighty, yeah, to get back on. It's good. So just. There you go. We just installed two Western Digital Red Drives into this NAS, which brought it from zero terabytes, which it comes because it has no drives in it. Bought a couple extra drives to throw in it. These, um, I saved, I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but it was between like 40 and $60. And like, if you can like, just like pull some drives out of, a, out of some, you know, you buy the drive separately and you can put it into the thing. And it, it might have to rebuild for a little while, you know. But like, yeah, you just save yourself at least forty dollars, and you, and if you have never done it before, you like learn something new is kind of fun. There you go. There you have it. Uh, two red drives inside the MyCloud EX2 Ultra uh, NAS uh, server here. My Deal Stash.